Leopard of Jubar, 34 years old from the Islamic Republic of Iran. Two-time world champion Reza Yazdani. Making another run towards 2020 because he's won just about everything there is to win in the sport of wrestling with one exception, and that is an Olympic medal. Going back to 2008, he finished 11th. In 2012, was in the semis before suffering a very bad ankle injury that forced him to default to fifth place. Didn't even get to wrestle the bronze medal bout. And in Rio, finished seventh. Has been out of competition since Rio. Maybe something sparingly on the domestic level, but internationally, we haven't seen him since Rio. Trying to win his third senior level Asian championship. Reza Yazdani, one time, this guy was the best in the world, pound for pound. As we mentioned, the bronze medal bounce. Did find himself on his back momentarily against Musayev and then a 3-1 lead for Yurgali in the semifinals before Yazdani hit a big four-pointer and scored eight straight points to win that one, nine to three. Iran trying to win its third gold medal of the day. Oh, nice little duck there for Ulsai Khan, kind of cheated the corner, came out and tried to go cross ankle with it. You're seeing that variation of the cross ankle or the ankle lace a lot more prevalently at the senior level. Actually, I think you're seeing a lot more at the elite junior level and above. 2-0 lead for Ulzis Icon of Mongolia. And there is Olsi Saikan going on the activity period with a 2-0 lead. And Olsi Saikan motioning to the referee that, hey, he bent my fingers back, man. Clock expiring, one point for inactivity awarded to Yazdani for his opponent's inactivity, that is. 15 to go here in the first. Yeah, we talked about the pace of Bajrang Punia earlier in the day. The pace of Yazdani is also quite impressive as we get later in the match. And we will go to the break, 2-1 lead. But Badzul Ulzi Saikhan of Mongolia, 24 years old. In that year at the Olympics in 2012, Yazdani was a heavy favorite before getting injured in the semifinals. Weight class ultimately won by Jake Varner of the United States. Final three minutes of the day coming up. Ah. 
راحت دوباره دو سه تا خاکش میکنیم خوبه اومده بالا اومده بالا اومده بالا Snap starting to get a little bit chippy there. Yes, Donnie again chasing, chasing, chasing. Holds a sight con. One point on the step out. Confirmed. Mongolia's coaches thought about are going for two. And there comes the toss. That, from a strategic standpoint, maybe not the best decision as you're already, you've got a two point lead. Arguing for the takedown, which would make it 4 1, but if you don't get it, you lose your challenge and you end up holding up 3 to 2. Again, because if you lose the challenge, you lose a point and your challenge. And again, they do score takedowns slightly differently in the middle of the mat than they do on the edge. So um, scoring actions on the edge. Oh, I don't know. It, it might have an argument because he, he did have the arm around the waist. They did score two. So upon further review, it actually ended up being a good challenge, because they get the challenge back and they do get the two, so Olsi Saikan, they four to one lead, so other reasons why I'm sitting here and not officiating. Olsi Saikan starting to pick up his pace a little bit. Warning and attention against Olzi Saikan. Hands in the face. Heavy hands on the head. As Donnie in on the single leg. Chases it, still can't finish. Wow. And we are going to get a step out one point for Yas Donnie. Makes it four to two. However, a two-point takedown will not give Yazdani the criteria as Olzi Saikan has two two-point actions, which in a criteria tie match is better than the two and two ones. Oh, good mat awareness there by Yazdani. Olzi Saikan in on the single, driving towards the edge. Yazdani wisely posts, and now this is not a good challenge. As Donnie ended up throwing his opponent out of bounds for the step out. Don't believe this is going to go the way of Mongolia. The challenge goes up on the big screen. As you see the officials and the jury there down in the corner. Okay, there you see a shot of it. So there you see that so this one couldn't have actually gone worse because instead of just the one step out they looked at it and said yeah you know what actually see the score changed they should get the challenge back but they actually went two and one. So two for the takedown instead of the step out and one for the lost challenge. So it's five to four in favor of Yazdani and now Yazdani pounces. There's two, the Leopard of Jubar with two more. So now seven to four and that challenge just seemed to turn things on its head. As we're under a minute to go, as we get a fresh start. And Olsi Saikon standing flat-footed as we begin the, the restart. Now 45 remaining. 
Chasing, 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 chasing again. There's a point. There's a point. There's a point. Good mobility from both these guys. There's a point. The athleticism of Yazdani's never really been in question. Olzi Saikan, you know, kind of emerging on the senior level. Still looking at the ref, looks like he got poked in the eye. Frustration setting in now here in short time. Try to go up underneath. Yazdani countering with the front headlock. Two and one in a third. Asian Championship and the third gold medal of the night for the Islamic Republic of Iran. Your winner, he's back, folks. Asian Champion Reza Yazdani.